Hi everyone! In this demo, we will walk you through a quick setup process and review the features our Intune connector offers. This application will synchronize Microsoft Intune data directly into your CMDB, ensuring its accuracy and an always up-to-date asset inventory. Once you install the application, you will have access to new menu items on the left side. Let us begin with the guided setup. Before you start setting things up, make sure you got following details, as this will be required to set up the bridge between Intune and ServiceNow. These details will be provided to you by your local Intune administrator. Now going into the guided setup, you will see all of the different tasks that will have to be performed in order to complete the setup. We can start with the first task. Here, you'll input the required Microsoft credentials, like client ID, client secret, tenant ID, and token URL. Once the credentials are added, the application handles the secure connection to Microsoft Graph API. If done correctly, you will see a pop-up window stating that a token flow completed successfully. We can now mark that task as complete and go on with the rest of the setup. All we will have to do in this second task is simply testing the connection. We can do so by pressing the test related link. A status code of 200 means that the connection is established and that we can continue our setup. In this third task, you can update the value of the system property to true if you're willing to retrieve IP address information from Intune. We can now go on with the Dell warranty configuration. This will enable you to retrieve and populate information like warranty expiration and shipping date. The information required for this configuration will be provided to you by Dell upon request. Of course, this step and the next two steps are not mandatory, so feel free to skip them if you don't want to retrieve those information for your Dell devices. Now, if you do want to populate this information, complete next two tasks, which are similar to the ones performed in the first steps. One is making sure the connection is established and the second one is setting up the system property. Next up, the scheduled imports. Simply activate the ICP computer sync to ensure your daily sync happens correctly. Once it's done, you can complete this task and the guided setup itself. The current setup will synchronize the data on a daily basis at midnight. If you go to scheduled imports, you can update the frequency, giving you flexibility and control over when the synchronization will happen. You'll only need to adapt the ICP computer sync as all other scheduled imports will run automatically after this one is done. I'll execute it manually for this demo. Now, you have many reports and interactive filters that you can use to increase the visibility on the data coming from Intune. Here you can see potential errors for the past and current ongoing synchronization, and you can even target a specific import if you want to. You will also be able to see what kind of devices you have, their current status, what OS or OS version these devices are running, and many more. Let's now see what the actual data looks like. If we go to the SimDBA CI computer table, you'll now see autopilot devices. These are the ones that you can see on top. This is also why you can't see OS related data on these devices yet. This will be populated once the computer gets fully provisioned. You will also see mobile devices and of course the assigned computers. Let's now open one of these to see what we've got. From the computer record, you will be able to see all of the data that we've gotten from Intune, but also the warranty expiration from Dell, if you enable it. Make sure to display the IP address, network adapters, 
an install software related list if you want to be able to quickly see these from its related computer record. For the mobile devices, the information we get is similar to the ones for computers with IME number as well. You can also see that the model ID got populated automatically, if available of course, or created dynamically, which will enable you to do your asset management properly. Lastly, if you encounter any issue related to the Intune connector, there's a dedicated menu item for the connector logs, in case you want to troubleshoot it by yourself. If you don't want to do this on your own, there's another menu item dedicated to support, where you'll find ASP support mailbox. Feel free to reach out if you encounter any issue or if you have a feature that you would like to pop up in the coming releases. Stay tuned for more.